Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to my online class where today we're going to be making this. It is a really fun magic card. A little bit different than some of the magic cards I've done in the past and super easy to make. You just pull out the tab and the color magically appears. It is so fun. Everybody's going to love this card. Um, I'm going to be using the Stampin' Up! Whiskey Business stamp set today, and this is actually part two in a two-part series. So if you want to catch part one, you want to check out my blog at stampwithtammy.com, um, or you can click on the link in this video's description, and it is up there. And I want to say a huge welcome to everybody who has jumped on board. You can download the PDF to this class um, on my blog. I have a resource page. I have one for all of my uh, video classes and they are linked. I try to make it easy for you to find. Just click on the link in this video's description, Facebook or YouTube, and it's up there. And you just click on that. If you don't see it, just simply go to stampwithtammy.com and click videos. And you will find all of my hundreds and hundreds of video tutorials. And you might want to check out a few other ones while you're yeah. there. This is the new, and the, uh, like I said, this is a little different than what I would normally, my normal magic cards normally are more like this. So this one's a little different. I was inspired by uh, Ashley Pfeiffer and Kelly Pitts um, with this style uh, card. Uh, very, very cool and super easy to make. Super easy to make. Okay, so also it has you know a place that you can sign as well as your magic parts here. So just a quickie, and I'll put this one up on my blog next week so you can see this was the this would have been my older style magic card. So there's two different ones there, and I have some videos for the older one. All right, let's get started. Um, I am going to start stamping. And I'm actually going to be using on this project two different uh, black inks. And the reason for the two different black inks is because we need the memento for the uh, alcohol markers. So we're gonna be coloring with alcohol markers today. And um, we need to use the memento ink for that because if I use stays on, it's got alcohol in it and the two, something about the two together, they cancel each other out and it bleeds weird, right? However, I need the stays on because it's a permanent ink and we're stamping on a window sheet and Memento won't stamp on the window sheet. It's it's a different style ink. So there you go, two inks. <laughs> and that's why. So we're going to start with the Memento. And I've pre-cut my labels and these labels came from the um, Ornate Frames stamp set. So I just put a little arrow there so you can see the, the, the that's the die I cut. And I actually cut um, three of those. So one white, one out of copper foil, and one from the In Good Taste designer series paper. So this is the paper that um, I used in the last card as well. It's called In Good Taste, really great paper, really great paper. Um, I showed the whole collection on the last one, all the different sheets, so you can check part one. If you haven't seen part one yet, Go over to um, either this video resource page or stampwithtammy.com and check it out. That one is for the, um, it's for the, this is the, we called it the Bendy Bar card. Jeanette Howard had uh, designed this. So it's super, super fun, folds down flat, and then I added in at the end this little spot that you can sign it. So I showed the designer series paper there too. All right, I'm gonna just move these two aside for the moment while we do our stamp and I'll pull them back in after. So this, the words I'm going to use on this are uh, straight up, you're the best. There we go. And I'm going to just go ahead and do all the stamping at once. Um, so we'll start, I'll do all the stamping that uses the memento and then I'll switch over to the, um, the, the stays on. Okay, so next, uh, this is going to be our inside uh, insert. So I stamped, you didn't have to stamp on this one, but I did because it was fun. And I stamped your top shelf. And I put it up towards the top because the bottom isn't gonna come all the way out. So I stamped that kind of on either side just to add a little fun to that part of the card. When you pull it out, it has a little surprise in it and there's a little <laughs> surprise words on it. Okay, and the last piece that I'm gonna stamp with Memento ink I'm just holding it out there so you can see which ink I'm using here, is um, the bottle. Oh, thank you, Diane. That's really sweet. She says your cards are always amazing. This one, you know, this for some, this, to, this week, I just really was in love with these this, this stamp set and how fun it is to color and the, the different coloring on it. So I had some fun with it. Okay, so 
that is all I'm stamping in Memento. I have all of the measurements for this on the uh, PDF. And so you can um, download that on the first page measurements. And um, I've, I've written down, these are actually the same measurements here, keep it simple. Okay, now I'm doing my last piece of stamping. I'm gonna switch over to the stays on ink. So we're I'm moving to the permanent ink here. I did this in Memento because I'm coloring with uh, markers. These two probably didn't matter either way, but the window sheet does matter. That one needs to be permanent ink. So I'm, I'm going to use the bottle that I just stamped. So I'm gonna need to clean that. So I'm gonna bring in here a stamp and scrub. Just spritz it with some Stampin' Mitts and clean one side, clean the other, and we are good to switch it and put it into another ink. Now I'm going to be stamping it on the window sheet. Sometimes that stays on ink is a little sticky, but this one, you know, I don't know if you guys have stays on, but it smells really yummy. Okay, so I just stamped this on the window sheet, and uh, so I'm just we are showing you again. These are the pieces that were all, they're all stamped and ready to go. So next up, I am going to cut our frame for the front. Um, these are stitched rectangles, so it's the third and the fifth smallest, the, the two sizes that you want. Right. So what I've got here is a piece of black, just basic black scrap paper. These don't need to be lined up on the on the scrap paper so much as the the little one needs to be lined up inside the big one to make a perfect frame. And we're going to crank that through. And when we're done, I'm going to pull that out. Now we can save that for another project, but that gives us our frame that we're going to use on the front end. This is the same designer series paper that I um, used on the uh, Bendy Bar card too. Yeah, I'm with you, Tina. She says I use the stitch shapes or rectangles on almost all my cards. I do, I love them. The stitch shapes, I can't even believe they're retiring. I mean, it's such a great die set. It's got circles, it's got squares, it's got ovals, it's got everything in it. But alas, you know, we must move on. So we've got our window cut out of that. This is a half of a eight and a half by 11. So I've cut it, this is, um. 11 by four and a quarter. So you just need one sheet of 11 by four and a quarter. And I am gonna score this in half. So there's two blades on this paper trimmer here. And it's I'm gonna take the lighter one for scoring. <laughs> Susan says, you are brave for putting those dies down without sticking them first. You know what? I do actually use a post note to hold them in place often. Um, I found more on the smaller, when I use the smaller shot, mini Big Shot, mini big shot, mini uh, stamp and cut machine. Um, I need, I use those more on the larger one. I feel like they are a little bit more stable. Um, okay, so this is going to be our base. And um, we are gonna just need to cut a slit in the top here. You can do this multiple ways. This is um, three and three quarters is the width here. Like I am right now, you just take a pen and just mark, I'm marking on the inside so you're not gonna see it. So I just put little marks there where um, that's gonna end. And so basically what that, see how that gave us a little slit up there? That is where our tab, Double check it, make sure we got it wide enough. We do good. That's where our tab's gonna pull in and out. Aren't you lucky, Peggy? She says it's beautiful outside. My goodness, I don't know where you are, but it's actually snowing here in Massachusetts. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, the middle of April and it's snowing. Ah, I think Mother Nature's drunk. So I'm taking some light Daffodil Delight. These are Stampin' Blend markers. They're the alcohol markers. They come, they're, they're combo sets. They come in, um, they come in a light and dark of each. So I just took a little bit of the darker Daffodil Delight. Now I'm just doing that right in the center of the, of the bottle. Okay. Daffodil Delight, Balmy Blue, and Cinnamon Cider for the colors today. And awkward. You need those glasses. Okay. You 
my, my leftiness is getting in the way right now. I want you to be able to see the, I want you to be able to see the project because my hand just wants to cover it. My lefties out there can totally understand where, where I'm going with this. Okay, so this was light cinnamon cider, and then I'm going to go in with a dark cinnamon cider. And I kind of just did the bottom, maybe the, the uh, corner there of the bottle. Maybe a little bit on top, but not too, too much. And then I'm going to go back with that light um, daffodil, blend it all together. Gives it that amber look of a fine whiskey, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really a whiskey drinker. I just thought the card was cool. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks for, thanks for the understanding, Sue. She understands the leftiness. Now I'm taking a little color lifter, and that's just going to pop some of the color up for us. And then to finish it off, I've got the light balmy blue. Oh, it was as easy as it looked. It really was. I mean, it, it was almost scribbling too. I don't, I mean, if you're paying attention, they're just, all I did was, you know, a little circle in the middle of the yellow and then colored around it with the cinnamon cider and then just a little highlights with the darker. That's it. That's it. It's as easy as it looks. No, no magic in that, but there will be magic in a minute with this card. So now I'm just taking the balmy blue. This is the light balmy blue. I am going to zoom in a little for you guys here. This is the light balmy blue. And, um, Hair back out again because I'm going to make sure it's actually focusing on what I want it to focus on. The camera's not cooperating today. So I'm just kind of following the, um, the sketched part of the image with the blue. So I'm not coloring the whole thing in. Just a little bit of reflection is what it's giving it. And it just makes the whole thing pop. Super, super cool. Okay. Now we can start with some assembly. So we've got our pieces all cut and ready to go. Okay, we've got these guys. And I've got my, my base, our frame, and then our frame that goes inside the frame. Got two frames there. Okay, so first let's go ahead and do this part. So, so I'm, I'm cutting the ends of the copper off. I did kind of, I, I didn't want Oh, and I'll show you this. If I just do it straight like this, and then I put this over it, that would make a great perfume bottle. You are so right, Suzanne. You can I don't know, it's me, and maybe you can't really see it, but I feel like you can see that little edging there, and that's why I kind of cut it in at an angle so that that little edging didn't show. But I guess that's personal, so if you're fine with it, don't, don't take the extra time. And then we'll just take some seal adhesive. <laughs> Hang tight, Sue. She's getting excited. <laughs> Hang tight. We're getting there. We're getting there. She's like, did you cut it down? I'm not there yet. One thing at a time. I was going to start with the labels, and then we'll work our way in. Okay, so this just gives it a little pop. A little, little special something on the edge there. And then that third label that we cut out of um, the designer series paper, the In Good Taste designer series paper, I'm folding that in half. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on both halves. And then I'm going to attach that to the top of this. That's the pull tab. That's how you're going to pull it out. Now one more thing. Um, this is the stopper. I promised you guys I'd show you how to do a stopper because the last time I did a magic card, everybody was, not everybody, a few people were very concerned that the, um, this piece comes out, right? And I was like, why wouldn't you want it to come out? You know, they're going to take your card apart to figure it out, right? <laughs> and then you just pop it right back in again. But I promised I would show you how to do the, the stopper. So this is just a little strip and I do have these measurements on the um, PDF. And I'm just going to add this to the bottom. Can you guys hear that wind? Now Scott is done um, cutting stuff downstairs, the construction downstairs for the night, and uh, now the wind's kicked in. <laughs> it's crazy here today. It was snowing. I can't believe it. 
So I've just trimmed that down a little bit. We don't need a lot here. We don't need a lot of overhang, just a tiny little bit of overhang there. And you're not gonna see any of that, so it doesn't matter how even it is. And attach our frame to our frame. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this piece because that way I can see exactly where I wanna cut. Okay. Well, thanks you guys, you guys are awesome. <laughs> the best part is that I got the camera fixed, right? That's the that's the most important part because honestly, I was so bummed out when that broke. I was like, what the heck? No, I've been looking forward to this all day. Uh, I've been looking forward to doing this one all week. I love magic cards. The actual magic happen, which is kind of important, right? When you got <laughs> when you got magic coming. Oh, thanks, Noel. Right. Because it's all it's all part of the fun. Some of my best projects have come from some of my biggest mistakes. Like the coolest techniques that I've learned have come from some of my biggest mistakes. Let's try that one again. So I'm lining that up and I'm hoping that that little crinkle isn't going to show. It doesn't. Okay. All right. We are back in business. Woo! So now... Now we're going to attach that window sheet. Now we need to line this up with this. And how I'm going to make that happen and make it stay perfectly is I'm going to put, go ahead and put this adhesive right around that frame. Okay, so this adhesive all around that frame. I'm going to line up the window sheet so it's perfect. And then just bam. So when I close that, now it's perfect, right? It's perfectly lined up, but I can lift it. And we've got our two layers here. Oh, we're getting close. We are getting close. Okay, here's where the magic comes in. This is it. It's this piece right here. Okay, so remember that little slit I cut in the top, you know, a year ago? <laughs> Not really. Like it hasn't even been that long. <laughs> it's been, yeah, right. I'm going to need to trim these um, down even more. And I'll show you why as we go. But when we put the um, adhesive around the edge here, I don't want these little knobs to get stuck on it, on the adhesive, because that won't be fun. It takes all the fun out of the stopper when it gets stuck. Okay, so now I'm going to use tear tape. So we've got that kind of in there. Tear tape is going to hold the whole thing together. Make sure you love it before you put this down. Make sure everything's lined up the way you want it. Because once you put the tear tape in there, it's not really easy to take it apart again. No. While this is still open, I'm just going to show you what the inside mechanism is going to do. Okay, so and that, we don't want that on there. We don't want that attached at all. Okay, so inside, pretend this is closed. Now you're just getting an inside view. See how that stopper, that little piece we put on the bottom is a little bit longer than the slit. So it's holding it. It's holding it from shutting. And those stoppers need to be shorter than the uh, adhesive on the edge. Okay, so that's how it works. So now you got the inside scoop. <laughs> Get the inside scoop on everything today on my <laughs> How the construction's going in the house, <laughs> how the camera isn't working, and how the inside mechanism of the magic card, which is what I originally came here to show you, <laughs> works. I'll just call this episode Magic and Behind the Scenes with Tammy. Right. I just want to make sure that this doesn't get stuck on the sticky strip when I shut this, you know, the, the, uh, the stopper on the bottom there. Okay. Cause now it's time to shut. This is it. This is your, your final word on where everything's going, right? Shut it. And boom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I cannot, and I'm not going to be able to open this up. I'm not going to be able to open this up. Maybe I can. Oh, let's see if I can do it without ruining it. Did you guys see what I did? Did you see what I did? I'm going to make all of these mistakes here for you so you don't have to make them. 
These are all the things that you want to make sure you don't do. Okay. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I think I, I'll see how many times I can take this apart. The stopper needs to go on the back. They won't get that extra surprise. But a lot of love went into this card, right? A whole lot of love went into this card. Okay, let's re-sticky strip. Oh, I'm glad that helps you. That makes me feel better. <laughs> Samantha says, because you make mistakes and show us how to fix them, it helps her so much. Well, I am happy to hear that. Then I'm happy to make more mistakes just to help you. If that's, if that's, what, if that's what it takes, Samantha, I am going to make some more mistakes for you. Just for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, sticky strip is back on. Putting this in. Oh, for crying out loud. You know what? This one doesn't have a stopper on it. You guys are just going to have to deal with me. You, you saw the stopper. You saw how it works, right? Okay, this one's going to come out. So, shutting the card again. And now, boom. Now, because I didn't put a stopper on it, this can come all the way out, which is not a big deal, honestly. I kind of like that. I kind of like that it does that. Because I'm going to tell you right now, when you give this to people, they're going to take it apart. They are. They're going to want to see how you made it. They're going to be like, whoa, that is so cool. So you saw how to do the stopper. If, you would, if you're a stopper person and don't want it to come all the way out, and if you want it to come all the way out, this is how you do it. Look, if I didn't make you feel like anybody could make this card after watching that, because I'm pretty sure anybody could make this card after watching that. I don't care if you have no experience. You could probably not only make it like a boss, but really show me up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you would think it was Monday. All right, let's put that right down there at the bottom. Straight up, you're the best. Let's make sure straight up is straight. You're the best. Boom, magical. But I have one more thing to share. This was kind of cool. I think it was Kelly Pitts that had this idea. So this is just a regular card base, you know, eight and a half by five and a half. I have these measurements on there and I put a little insert inside. So if you want to have a space, to sign. I mean, sometimes people just sign on the back here, which is really cool. But if you wanted to have a, just like we did with the last, um, the, the bar bendy pop-up card, get this, just take a little adhesive and attach this to that card base, magic card, but now it opens and now you can sign it on the inside. Oh, I'm glad you guys like that. Thanks. You guys are awesome. So that is our magic card. It goes with um, the, our part one, and that was the bendy card, bendy card folding down flat and pops up. I have to, I, I kind of have to hold it here because, um, if I put it up like this, you guys can't really see it. Right. But if you missed the part one video, you definitely want to go back and check that out. I have all of the supplies that I used here today on the, um, on the resource page and on that free PDF for you. And if on your, you're on YouTube, they're listed on my YouTube channel as well. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a great rest of your Friday. And um, I think I, I feel like I'm just going to go down some whiskey after, <laughs> after that. I am so kidding. I am so kidding. It really, if that was the worst thing that happens, I'm okay with it. It's such a fun, that was, this was actually a lot of fun. And uh, I, I always have fun. I was really looking forward to this. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me today.